So I am back at a native plant garden that I put in last year. Uh, this was a project for a homeowner who wanted to really create quite an ecosystem in his suburban uh, property here. He asked that we put in a variety of plants to entice pollinators and birds and really uh, be part of the ecosystem. So that's what we did. There's about 30 different kinds of plants that we put in last year. Um, things are doing really well here in the springtime. We've also added rain barrels and water features. There's bird baths. There's some river birch, some winter berry. Put in a white spruce over here. Really trying to encompass all kinds of different kinds of plants. For the spring cleanup today, we took all the dead plant material down, we weeded, and then we raked out the beds so that the seeds that dropped from the native plants last year could germinate this year. So the beds should be ready for spring. Um, next time before planting, we'll be enriching the soil with some organic compost, and we'll be filling in some of the bare spots with more plants so that eventually we won't need as much mulch for this project. As you can see, it's a great example of a way to take your backyard suburban garden, turn it into a pollinator oasis, and uh, much less turf grass and much more food for the pollinators.